Here comes a new challenger! Hello everyone, and welcome to the Game Awards nominees page. I haven't really done my votes. I mean, I did earlier, but those were just bean picks. I want to be serious and actually pick, you know, using my brain and my heart for this sort of stuff. So I hope that you enjoy this. The video I had today was kind of had to be canceled because, um, because audio issues, but uh, hopefully this video won't suffer that same fate. And, you know, um, the video I had planned for today, I'll remake it for tomorrow. So, uh, you know, things are good. But I also just woke up. I'm pretty kind of kind of tired because college, college class is early in the morning. You know how it is. And so we're going to go all the way from down to the top. It is what it is. And for things that I don't vote know about <laughs> or anything like that, I'll just go like eeny meeny miny mo because I, I don't I don't really for instance be best esports team. I don't care for any of these guys. All right, does does this does this here say anything about uh, fighting games? No, because it's not you know these are these are you know Dota, League of Legends, Call of, Call of Duty like a uh, uh, so um, eeny meeny. My, you know, I'll pick these guys because because their image is not just generic. Let us let us look at our look towards the screen Look at that like this. This one's not but like this one has emotion, bro You could feel the power in this one. All right. Anyways moving on best esports host Golden boy machine. I don't know how to say that dash achiever All right, I can't say your full name your has the easiest you know, he looks like he's pogging a little right it's like the weak pog like he wants to pog or he doesn't want to pog all right he's holding back a pog so uh since he wants to hold back his pog we can't vote for him but should we because he's going to pog maybe oh wait his headphones look weird and wrong never mind um hmm. all right guys looks like we have to do any mini mini mo catch a tiger by the toe if you can't let it go any mini mini mo I guess Pogman will have to do Pogman. I don't wait. What's going on? Okay. Well, there you go, Pogman. You won. All right. Best esports game. I don't. I don't play any of these. Hmm. But this one's te definitely getting its smash. <laughs> uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't care if it's a Mikos to War Fighter, bro. That'd just be hilarious if Fortnite actually got to smash in some way, shape, or form. Best esports event. Oh man, I can't wait to pick Evo. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Evo. Yeah. Ooh, ah, yeah. Ooh, e ooh, e ooh, e ah, ooh, e ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's uh, very spicy. All right. Uh, well, um, hmm, all of these are uh, CS:GO, uh, Overwatch, CS, the, um, uh, 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 we'll go with this one because this looks like a guillotine. I don't know. Give me a break. <laughs> all right, best esports coach. All right, like if I was playing, who would I want adv uh, uh, advice from? Who would I, like who who would I trust to be like ayo I need I need some some gamer tips um definitely not this guy this guy looks like Tom Holland with fatter with the fatter face this guy's hair hair is too short bro this is a bold cut looking I can't man uh this is kind of cool actually this this tag here that's cool uh Fabian I don't know how to say your first name sorry man but grabs, bro, like when I think of grabs, I think of Melee Marth Grab Ranger, right? Or Bowser Pivot Grab Ranger Smash 4. Alright. Krusty, bro, that's on trap. But this man right here, this this Chad, alright, has Zonic in the name, alright? You know what? Z Zonic? Zonic is Zonic, whatever, okay. You know, you know, but whatever. Okay, esports e athlete, but. Uh, but what is that supposed to mean? If you judge who's the most outstanding performance of conduct in 2020, irrespective of the game, uh, so basically these are the Chad gamers, right? They're epic and uh, they play games, and um, um, I don't know any of these guys, but this guy looks like he took his picture in a bathroom. You know what? That's a gamer right there. All right, <laughs> I think we left that part. 
Best debut game for best debut game created by in independent studio. Um, um, I don't. The only ones I know are these two. But that's because this one was trailer, and this one was because I heard people like it. I heard a lot of people really like this one, so you know what? I'll vote for it, I, even though I know nothing about it. What? Content, but th none of this is me. We're no, trash. I'm not even gonna vote. You're all trash. All, uh, no, but no, seriously. Uh, aside from Tim, uh, I don't know any of these other guys. And 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 honestly, like, uh, look, uh, they're not me. So uh, there you go. Uh, I'm not voting. GGs. Uh, make me. All right, Savage Z at YouTube.com. So whatever. Anyway, so uh, now we have best multiplayer and and this game. All right, one million percent, a thousand percent. All right, Among Us, just oh man, like, like every like when I when I think of like these games, right? It's like, oh, let's play Valorant or Call of Duty Warzone or Animal Crossing. One, I don't know any of these other games outside of Among Us, but I could imagine that when playing these other games, it kind of just like kind of gets repetitive and boring. But with Among Us, like, there's something about it that's like no matter how many times you play it, you just enjoy it. Right, like I get tired of shooters eventually and stuff like that. But both Among Us, I, I you know, I, I'm talking with my friends and and they're going and I'm going shut up. <laughs> All right, but yeah, Among Us, Chad game, right? Chad, Chad Lee's game, best sports and racing game. Well, I definitely tell you, it ain't no FIFA, it ain't no 2K21. All right, we'll go. I know this is like a remaster of like old games, but this deserves it way more than these two. And I have uh, these are racing games. No, best sim and strategy game. Um, uh, Fire Emblem isn't on here, so we're not gonna vote for it. But uh, in all seriousness, I've heard a lot of great things about Microsoft Flight Simulator, so we'll vote for that. Best family game. Best family game. Who? When you think of family, when you think of family. Do, do you think of Minecraft Dungeons? Do you think of Paper Mario? No! And this, I mean, I guess you can play with your family. But, like, but would they want to, especially with the cringe that is their the Twitter account? No. In this game, I mean, you can only really play it with, like, one other person. This doesn't involve the family. Uh, actually, thinking about it, none of these games are really great for family. But, I mean, if I had to... Pick one. Um, I guess you could make the argument with that with dungeons. You can at least have like people like like think of, think of it from a family perspective. If, if in theory you could just have like a, like your family members like say you have a brother or sister or whatever they have like like one has a PlayStation and the other one has an Xbox. You can all play crossplay because this this game has crossplay now. So in theory, I guess you could say yeah this game, but. But, uh, but no, we're, we're gonna vote for, uh, well, do I want to vote for Animal Crossing? Because I have to pay debt in that game, and I don't, you know, that's not very, a fan, that's not a fun family experience all the time. But I guess, um, it's this game, sure. Maybe Dungeons, yeah, but whatever. Best fighting game, so immediately I'm, I'm, I'm counting out these two, because these are all, like, at least with Among Us, yeah, it came out in 2018, but it got popular this, this year. These two games have already, you know, they've already passed their popularity. They don't count. All right, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus should definitely win, one million percent. Best role-playing game. All right, this is again re-release. I don't want to count it. And even though I know this isn't a remake, 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 you know, of remakes, we're going with Yakuza. All right, Yakuza, Chad game, Chad, Chad, only Chad play that game. All right, best action adventure. All right, now Miles Morales is technically just the first game, but with Miles and in a Christmas setting. So I mean, like it is an all new story. There's not much you can really do with, um, <laughs> with the New York setting. Though apparently, um, I wonder for I've been told because you know I don't have a PS5 <laughs> or four, but that uh, Miles's game is apparently. Uh, how do I say, um, the puzzles kind of suck, from what I've been told, and, wait, why is Jedi Fallen Order here? I thought this was a thing last year. That's weird. Didn't Fire Emblem beat you? 
Anyways, whatever. The last was two. Just know I'm not voted for last was two in any of these categories, by the way. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Ghost of it, It's probably between these three, honestly, for me. If I had, like, from what I've seen. Um, because Ghost of Tsushima got, got that mwah, beautiful. But then you have, like, these two games, which have their own beauty to them. Hmm, that's hard. That's really hard. Um, you know what? Ori looks beautiful, and I'm gonna give it by that. Best action game, primarily in combat. All right. Well, if we're talking about combat, <laughs> no. But in all seriousness, I haven't played Hades, so I don't know anything about the combat in that game. But I know Streets of Rage 4, and I know Doom Eternal. And I'm giving it to Streets of Rage 4 because Doom Eternal, look guys, the new Doom games are great and all, but they're just like arena shooters. You're in an arena, you shoot a bunch of stuff, you move on to the next arena, you shoot a bunch of stuff. Like, you know, it's rinse and repeat, and it's like a great rinse and repeat, but like, it's it's not classic Doom, you know? I, I It's great when you can, you know, it's great when you think of it as its own thing, but when you, when you put it alongside classic Doom 1 and 2, it kind of feels like not nah, it's it doesn't feel the same you know what i mean we made doom one doom one and two so great is that so yeah enemies everywhere but it they you weren't forced to like fight them outside of like the bosses you know and uh you could you could beat the level without needing to kill everything in sight that's what made it so great for me in my opinion now this i know what this is this is just to let people um uh play like it, it, it's just to help people right it's they added features that added pick-me-ups for people who have disabilities or or the case may be it, it helps it helps people play their game and brings in more more people uh, and in that case I have no idea for any of these games I, I saw what last of us 2 did but again I'm not voting for that game in any way shape or form so um, um uh, if I had to give one a vote, I'll give this one a vote because you could play as a grandma uh, and and that's hilarious to me All right best VR and AR game. All right. Uh, well uh, This game I know this game is made getting more content and also I don't own VR, but at the very least, you know um, Whereas this game is right now, it's pretty bare bones from what I hear like, it's great, it's just bare bones from what I've been told, and Half-Life Alex, I've been told, is just great all around. It feels like a full-fledged game that isn't, that is just on VR, basically. So that's cool. Uh, Community Sport. Uh, if this is talking about their Twitter accounts, then not this one. This one is cringe. Alright, but if we're talking about people who, if we're talking about developers that have been supporting the game, trying to fix it, bro, No Man's Sky deserves it. What the, why, why did it do that again? Or whatever. Either way, this game, this game has the biggest one, one of the biggest comeback stories of all time. I can't, I, like, I genuinely can't believe it. I'm genuinely shocked. All right, best mobile game free, free. I don't even have to, I don't even have to. Pokemon Cafe mix, trash, bro. What? Among Us only, bro. Among Us only. Best indie. You know what? This game deserves. This game deserves a vote. It does. It deserves. It deserves it. All right, best ongoing. All right, we'll go for this one because the again deserves it. All right, none of these games I I don't know of outside of this one because of ads and, th and this one also because of ads. Uh, but this one looks cool. I just like I just liked how this looked. So that that's all. That's all. I don't really care for thought promote. Uh, I don't care for meanings or thought provoking or anything like that. All right, you know what's the best thought provoking game in my opinion? I'll tell you right now. Right, the best thought provoking game is Sonic Mania because now I'm thinking about whether or not Sonic Forces is getting a trash sequel or not because of that game and I'm talking about Encore mode but you if you've played that game you'll know why so again I'm not voting for these but also Laura Bailey how could you leave Fire Emblem why have you become too expensive um, look I get it voice actors becoming popular but I oh look man I just you know Laura Bailey's who's seen them mm. but uh, hey you know what uh, the current voice actor I forget her name Oh man, I forgot her name already. But she, she's. I, th I, th I think I like her more. So you know, you can stay as Abby, and play that that trash character. And me, on the other hand, I I'm voting for for Miles Morales. It, purely because 
the voice actor from Miles Morales makes me laugh. So uh, I don't know if any, uh, if you guys don't know anything about Miles Morales, Miles Morales is African, is he's he's, he's he's half African, half Puerto Rican, right? That's the thing. And, and so obviously, with you know when you speak Spanish, you're gonna have some Spanglish in there, right? So like I could go like, all right guys, so I'm voting for Miles Morales porque yo quiero, mira, y Miles Morales eh, eh puede eh puede hablar español, so yo me gusta eso, you know, and I'm full full on Puerto Rican, all right. And it's funny listening to his voice lines when he's trying to speak Spanish because it's quite clear the voice actor's second language is not Spanish. <laughs> he's like, he's trying his best, <laughs> which is funny to me, you know, I, I just find it funny as someone who, who's, by the, way, by the way, just so happens to be Puerto Rican, I am, uh, you know, uh, so I, you know, I like Miles a lot. I really like what they did with him in the game, like in terms of story, and I do like what they did for him in uh, the movie Spider-Verse, uh, it's just a shame that Amazing Spider-Man, his debut comic was, was kind of his trash appearance, but even then, it wasn't, it wasn't he who was trash, it was everyone else around him that was trash. So, hey, you know, Miles Morales, one of the only few good characters that came out from modern-day Marvel, I, I would say, um, he's definitely better than what Marvel tries to pull out nowadays, but, I really love Miles, I do. You know, and hey, mira, si él quiere hablar español, mira, lo deja, chico. Él puede hablar español cuanto ese quiere. All right, so am I gonna translate that for you? No. Um, best audio design. Uh, boom. Resident Evil. Resident Evil games. It doesn't matter what game it is. Resident Evil has always great. Ha has always had great audio design. All right, so we're just gonna leave it at that. All right, I'm not not even gonna argue with that. All right. Best score in music. All right, look. I don't know any of these guys' soundtracks, but because this one is technically <laughs> a remake of a soundtrack that is already amazing, we're just gonna go with that. Because I have heard this one. Um, best art direction? Boom. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. All right, I just really like how Ori looks. Like, in motion, it looks beautiful. You know, Hades, from what I've seen, looks great. Like, it's, it looks great. But, but I feel in Ori, because of the pace of the game and how the game is designed, you can really take in everything. You know, like the thing's going too frantic. Uh, or at least not all the time, you know what I mean? Best narrative? Look guys, I don't know anything about y'all, but in terms of like story, bro, I ain't never voting for Final Fantasy VII, bro. Bro, they, <laughs> bro this is, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake should just be renamed Kingdom Hearts. Final Fantasy 7, all right? That's that's what it should be called. That that's where Sephiroth at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2 went, bro. He went to he went to a different uh, whatever. Play the game yourself, you'd understand or, or watch the game. I don't I don't really care. But we're going to go with this game cuz I heard a lot of people say this game's story is amazing. So we'll go with that. Best game direction uh, uh, for creative vision and innovation in game design. Now this one, I heard a lot of great things of Hades, so uh when I will vote for it. I I, I, it, again, it did the same thing again, but either way, Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's great in terms of what they've seen, what they've done with like the gameplay and stuff like that, but like, at the end of the day, its basis is still Final Fantasy VII. Game of the Year, which is the big one. Uh, I find it funny that both Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons are on here. Because, you know, there's it's the joke, you know, both themes uh, released on the same day. Uh, you know, it's kind of like that cross promotion and all this sort of stuff. I, I'm pretty, I wonder, let me know in the comments below, how many of you bought Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons on the exact same day? Let me know in the comments. I, I'm, I'm definitely curious as to who you guys, uh, who, which of you guys actually bought both games because of like all the advertising. But in terms of game of the year, I can't give it to Animal Crossing because it's it's still a game with lacking content. And I already said my piece on Doom Eternal. Final Fantasy VII Remake is Kingdom Hearts. So, and I'm definitely already not voting for this game. So it's really come down to these two. And one of my friends is getting me Hades and says, I might like it. Now, I like rogue games. I do. Uh, Rogue-like games. But, uh, uh, you know, that's what they're telling me this game is. And hey, you know what? Uh, I'll play it, I'll try it, and if I like it, then uh, I'll keep the vote as is. But if not, then I'll come back later and switch it back to Ghost of Tsushima, because either way, I think both of these games deserve it. But I'm voting Hades for now, you know, because I'm actually going to be able to try the game. And if I, if, hey, if I love it, then uh, there you go, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's basically it, you know? That's, that's it, you know? But let me know in the comments below what you guys voted for. 
you know just, just remember this is blasphemy savage z is not on here er, guys guys remember to, remember to vote for for me right subscribe to savage z at youtube.com because i am the comedy i am the mastermind behind everything i made this you know I, i'm gonna tell you this right now game of the year i made that i created that all right but all jokes aside uh i'll see you guys in the next video this is just one that i i had to do because i haven't really done it yet and uh d whoa whoa okay well that was weird but basically the point is uh, i did uh whatever point is game's cool and then this loaded back in weird but yeah um just pick whoever you want to pick at the end of the day these votes these votes really don't don't matter too much it's just uh, suggestions or what the people may want to see to be voted more so than anything else but we'll see right we'll see for me i'm hoping my votes get what they get you know except for the esports stuff i i generally don't care for any of those guys because i don't i don't know any of them and again, I'm not on there, so I'm not gonna care for those content creators. I am Savage Z. Vote for me!